Love Lab. We are making Sunday dinner green beans. You hear the bacon is already cooking, right? So I'm just going to jump right into it. Come on in the kitchen, y'all. Let's cook. y'all on purpose. This video is going to be full of y'all, baby, honey, and child. Because, honey, child, this is what you eat on Sunday after service. After You know what I'm talking about? Sunday afternoon after you got some fried chicken or some meatloaf. And grandma will go in there and get them green beans. I'm going to show you how to make them because these old school green beans are easy to make. What I love about the kinds of foods that our grandmas cook it wasn't a whole lot going on. They weren't fancy. They weren't brazen and all. They were real straightforward. So we're going to start with some bacon. I've got a pound of bacon in here. Now, if you don't want to use bacon, you can use you can use a smoked turkey leg or a smoked turkey wing or anything like that and make some broth. That's fine, too. You can use you a ham hock or a neck bone. Make, do what you want to do. But I'm going to use bacon. This is how they started. Now, this is a simple recipe. I love Sunday dinner cooking. It's simple. I hope y'all can see me because you know the smoke comes. Let me turn this on a little bit see if I can get some of the smoke out the way so y'all can see me a little bit better. Okay, you got green beans. Fresh cut green beans. This is all you need right here, okay? Now, you can take them and, you know, uh, break them or cut them or whatever. I'm going to cook them just like this because that's how I like them. All right? Now, the other thing Grandma will put in her beans, potatoes. I got some red potatoes here. And if you think that's a lot of potatoes for those green beans, I know, huh? It's awesome, isn't it? Okay. Now, we also got here a little yellow onion and some garlic. Now, this water is here for chicken broth. Now, usually, you know, I like to use the fancier seasonings in life sometimes. But, y'all, I'm going straight old school. I'm using seasoned oil and seasoned pepper. Okay? This is Sunday afternoon. You just got home from church or you did I don't know. But something about Sunday afternoon screams chicken, or meatloaf, or pork chops, <laughs> and green beans. All right. So let's let this bacon render up. All right, y'all. So our bacon is coming together. It's just about done. I'm going to add to this. Ooh, we got stuck. Some garlic. This is about three cloves of garlic. And if you're thinking that's a lot of garlic, uh-huh. And here I'm going to add as well, a yellow onion that I've diced up. Now I turn the heat down momentarily because I don't want that garlic to burn. So once I put these in there, I'm gonna keep stirring around so that the garlic doesn't burn. I just want these to get a little soft. That's all I need. See that? Now, important step, important, important to note. Do not get rid of this bacon fat, okay? Now I've said this before, people will tell you, Drain away some of that fat. You don't need that negativity in your life, okay? You keep this bacon fat right here because this is what's gonna make this dish good. Now that we've got our garlic in here, our onions in there, we're gonna hit it with some garlic powder, okay? And we might need more than what I have here, but we're gonna start here. I'm gonna hit it with some seasoned pepper. We will need more, but I'm gonna start here. What I'm trying to do is season up this whole base before I add the beans. Make sense? Okay. And now season all. Season all is a form of seasoned salt. If you have Lowry's, y'all know what I'm talking about. This is grandma type cooking, right? Look at that. Oh man, y'all, I just got a whip of them seasonings in there. That's all you gotta do, you see that? Now we're gonna take our green beans, okay? We're gonna put them in here, just like so. Just put them in here. These are all cleaned and prepped and everything. See that? Okay. This is gonna be so good, y'all. I'm telling you. After we finish this, you know what you're gonna want? You some fried chicken. And what else? I've been saying it all day. Meatloaf <laughs> or some pork chops or something. Okay, you see how I'm doing this? Just trying to get this mixed in. Let me get a, some tongs out. Make it a little easier. Okay? What I'm trying to what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going in to get the beans mixed in with the bacon pieces. Oh, oh and all that goodness. See there? And that's just starting to cook that down. You see it? Yes, Lord. After church food. Now here I've got about six cups of water, okay? Now I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna need all of this water, but I'm gonna start just filling it up. This is not an exact measurement. Oh, I do need it all, perfect. Hey, God, good. <laughs> I told you it's a Sunday dinner. Now I'm gonna turn this into chicken broth effectively. I like 
using these chicken concentrated chicken broth flavors because they just really do a lot to just get it where you want it to be. And that didn't make sense, did it? But I know y'all understood. <laughs> You can buy the can of chicken broth, the jar thing, that's fine, but this lasts longer. You buy a big jar of this and you take about a tablespoon or so, or a teaspoon, I think they say a teaspoon for every cup. I don't know, I just put enough in until it tastes like I want it to taste. And as this heats up and boils, this is your chicken broth. So this gives you really good concentrated flavor. Okay, so, get that little bit off there. Okay, well never mind, there we go, <laughs> it came off. <laughs> All right, I love these. This is one of my little tips. Now, what you do next, get your spoon back, turn your heat up just a little bit, don't go too fast, okay? And you're gonna let this come to a boil, and that chicken broth, that concentrated chicken broth in there is going to dissolve, like melt into it. It's gonna be perfect. And then after this gets boiling, we're gonna add the potatoes. Now you can add the potatoes now. Here's the thing you wanna be careful of though. If you add the potatoes too early and it comes to a boil, they're gonna get mushy and cook down too much. And you don't want them to be mushy. You know what I'm saying? You wanna have a nice piece of potato with it. Now, I've cut these potatoes into pieces about like so. Okay, see? And I'm using red potatoes that are scrubbed with the skin on, cause that's just, I like that. But you can use a russet. My mama used to use russet potatoes and she would fully peel them and cut them. I like the reds in there. You can use, you can, you can use any potato. Pick a potato, any potato. You understand what I'm saying? And you're gonna let this come to a boil and cook up. Look at that, you see that color? You see how I got that little yellow color to it? That's the color of soul food. That's the color of grease and seasonings. But we have a vegetable, y'all, so we are healthy. <laughs> All right, let's bring this to a boil, then we're gonna add our potatoes. Okay, so now you can see that our broth is starting to boil just a little bit, I'm gonna add these potatoes in. And yep, I'm adding them all. And I'm sorry if that feels to you like it's too many potatoes. But trust me, this is how you want it. Stir it in, make sure everything gets covered. And then what this needs now, more than anything, is you know what? Time. So what you're gonna do, because these green beans are still firm, right? They're firm and bright, bright green, see that? That's what you, that's, that's okay. They're not gonna stay that way, but that's okay for now. And these potatoes are cut similar in size, so they'll take similar cooking time. Now, you can turn this down to like low and just let this baby go. You can put it in the crock pot on low. Now, my grandmama never used to put this type of stuff in the crock pot on Sunday morning before you go to church, and then you come home and it was ready, oh my God. But you know, wait, in hindsight, that means they were leaving the house with appliances on. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, okay, yeah, don't do that. Just come home from church or wherever you go on Sunday. Get it like this, get your top, cover it up, turn the heat down and let this baby do her work. So I'm gonna let this simmer away. Ooh, it's getting nice and hot on the sides. And I'll be back probably, maybe an hour. I don't know, something like that, I'm gonna go make some chops. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Well, a few seconds for you. Wow. Well guys, it's been about a good hour. I've turned these down really, really low. And I just let them simmer away. And look at that. Now that is so what green beans, Sunday afternoon green beans should look like. Now I want you to notice something on these potatoes. Okay, see how I let them, look at this. Watch this. Oh, that's what you want. You can get a fork through it, but it's not mushy. We're not trying to make mashed potatoes into green beans. We just want the potatoes to soften up just like this. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, my God. What? Ooh. That was a my God, my God face. Those are so good. All right, y'all. Now, a couple things I'm going to tell you before we taste it. You see, I'm stirring this up. Now, people are going to tell you, that's too much fat. I told you about that. Get that negativity out of your life. Look, you see that? That's green beans right there. The potatoes. And bacon, don't forget the bacon, look at that. I'm gonna taste just a little bit. Now when you serve it, you're gonna serve it with a real big spoon. But I'm just trying to get a little taste, right? Get some of this here for all. Now, if you wanna find out, you see the garlic in there? When you first finish this pot, and you want to see is it right, first
first thing you want to do is taste your little broth, okay? Okay, now I'm not going to put this one back in there. I'm going to taste my broth first. The church mothers would be so proud. <laughs> yes! Now, you get you a, a, a potato, oops, bacon. I'm trying to get it all together.